Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my locations guide for all of the weapons in Resident Evil 2. This guide will show you the location of all the weapons and their upgrades. The weapons Leon and Claire find during the game are completely different. There are set locations where the weapons and upgrades can be found, but what you find at each location is completely different depending on whether you're playing as Leon or Claire. For that reason I'll only be showing each location once during the video, otherwise this video will be twice as long. I'll make it clear what can be found in each location depending on which character you're playing as. Saying all of that, there are two character specific places for two of the upgrades. This is because Leon and Claire take different paths when leaving the parking garage, and there is an upgrade on each path. I'll make it clear which ones they are when we get to them. The video is set out in chronological order. This is so you can pick up each weapon and upgrade at the earliest opportunity. Just a quick note before we start, there are three other guns in the game. The Broom HC, which is Ada's handgun, you'll use that during her section. The Samurai Edge handgun, to unlock this you need to get an S rank on standard difficulty or above. And the LE5 submachine gun, you unlock that by completing the game with an S rank on hardcore. The last two I just mentioned both have infinite ammo as well. Now that's out the way, let's begin. The first weapons I'll just mention quickly are Matilda, which is Leon's starting handgun and the SLS-60 which is Claire's starting handgun. Obviously there's nothing more to say about these two, you get them as soon as you start the game. The first location for upgrades is in the waiting room on the second floor of the police station. You can go there as soon as you enter the police station for the first time. They're in a safe behind the desk. The combination for the safe is left 6, right 2, left 11. Inside Leon will find a muzzle brake for Matilda and Claire will find a high capacity magazine for the JMB HP3. The second pair of upgrades can be found in the west office on the ground floor of the police station. They are inside Leon's desk which is locked using two dial locks. The codes for these locks are the initials of the first names of Leon's would-be co-workers. You can find each name on the desks in the area. For the left lock it's NED and for the right it's MRG. Once opened Leon will find a high capacity magazine for Matilda and Claire will find a speed loader for her SLS 60. Getting the next pair of weapons involves two parts. Firstly you need the spade key, you get this during the story. This is so you can access the art room on the east side of the second floor to get the weapons locker key card. Once you have the key card head to the safety deposit room on the ground floor. In that room there's a weapons locker that the key card opens. For Leon there'll be the W870 shotgun and for Claire there'll be the GM79 grenade launcher. So the next location is when you get down to the underground parking garage. To the northeast of the garage is a firing range. In there there is a yellow lockbox. Inspect the lockbox to find a car key. Go back out into the parking garage and inspect the car key to unlock the boot or trunk if you prefer of a police car to the left. Inside Leon will find a gun stock for Matilda and Claire will find the JMB HP3 handgun which comes with a laser sight.
so now we come to the first of two character exclusive locations. This one is Claire's and it's still in the parking garage. Once you've retrieved the diamond key from the morgue, you'll be able to open the elevator control room. The upgrade is in the locker directly ahead of you as you enter. It's the shoulder stock for the grenade launcher. Once back in the police station after messing around in the parking garage for a while, Leon will have the club key and Claire will have the heart key. They allow us to access the observation room and the interrogation room respectively. The guns we are finding are actually locked away in the armory in the star's office, but we need to jump through a few hoops to open it up. Start by grabbing the red book out of the library, then head to the art room and combine the book with the arm you find there. Then place the book arm combo onto the statue to retrieve the scepter. Interact with the scepter to get the red jewel. Now head downstairs to the interrogation slash observation room. Claire will need to take a different route to Leon, she won't be able to open the shutter just north of the art room. You'll have to go back onto the roof, use the ladder and then descend the stairs from there. Once in the interrogation or observation room, grab the bejeweled box and use the red jewel with it to receive the stars badge. Now head all the way over to the other side of the police station to the STARS office. In there will be a computer. Inspect the STARS badge to reveal that it's actually a USB drive and use it with the computer. Then use the terminal to unlock the armory. Enter it and Leon will find the Lightning Hawk and Claire will find the MQ-11 submachine gun. Before leaving, grab the STARS badge, you'll need it for an upgrade later on. Now it's time for Leon's exclusive location. Once you finally leave the police station via the shutter in the parking garage, you'll get to a gun shop with Ada. Once she's unlocked the door, enter and look to the left to find the long barrel for the W870 shotgun. After playing either Ada or Sherry's section, you'll eventually reach a room in the sewer called the monitor room. Just outside the monitor room in the treatment pool room is a safe. The combination for this one is actually written on the side of it. It's left 2, right 12 and left 8. Inside the safe is an upgrade. For Leon it will be the stock for the W870 shotgun and for Claire it will be the reinforced frame for her SLS-60 handgun. The next pair of weapons are on the far side of the sewer. Firstly, you'll need the T-bar handle from next to the cable car. Then head down the stairs that are near the safe from the previous location. Once at the bottom, head left and use the T-bar handle to open the door. Follow the walkway round and drop down the ladder. You need to head to the room we're going to as part of the story anyway. Go all the way to the far end of this section, fighting off all the mutants as you go. At the other end, go through a door and eventually you'll end up in a caged area. Go immediately left after going down the stairs and pick up the Queen chess piece. Then go the only way you can go and put the Queen into the next electrical box. From there go up the stairs and grab the King chess piece. 
Drop down and go to the far end where you can see the gun. Use the king part to open the gate. For Leon, it will be the chemical flamethrower, and for Claire, it will be the spark shot. Son of a bitch. The next pair of upgrades does involve a bit of backtracking. You'll also need the Stars Badge as well. If you don't know where it is, please see the Lightning Hawk and MQ-11 location. There are timestamps in the description. You'll need to pick up the key that is hanging on the board just in front of the ladder we used to get to the previous location. Then head back past the bottom of the stairs that lead up to the monitor room, use the switch there and drop into the sewage. Continue walking and you'll see a T-bar valve on your right. Jump out of the sewage and use the T-bar handle to open it and use the lift to go up to the workroom. Go straight out of the door there and head to the other room on the other side of the walkway. Use the key we just picked up to unlock it. Inside the room go to the right side of the cabinet and move it out of the way. Use the lift and then head up the stairs and go through the gate. Just to the left of the gate is a cabinet. Use the stars badge to open it. You'll need to retract the USB part for it to work. Inside the cabinet, Leon will find the long barrel for the Lightning Hawk, and Claire will find the silencer for the MQ-11. The next pair of upgrades unfortunately involves more backtracking than the previous ones. We will be using the same route though. So like the previous location, use the sewers to get to the workroom. In the workroom you'll find a roll of film. Now you'll need to develop it. There's only one place you can do this, in the dark room on the ground floor of the police station. Use the exact same route to get to the previous location where the gun cabinet was. This time ignore the cabinet and continue to the top of the stairs to find a lift. Use it and you'll end up in a familiar location, underneath the goddess statue. Use the T-bar handle to open it up again and make your way to the dark room. Once at the dark room, go into the back and develop the photos. They will reveal two secret locations. The one we want for this pair of upgrades is in the star's office, so head there. When you get there, go into the small office on the left and open the desk drawer. Leon will find the red dot site for the lightning hawk, and Claire will find the high capacity magazine for the MQ-11.
Right, now it's time for the final pair of upgrades. You'll have to move the story forward so that you end up in the nest facility. From the entrance, turn right and go through the door. Make your way to the back of the cafeteria and up the ladder. When you drop down, go into the nap room and open up the first locker. Leon will find the regulator for the chemical flamethrower and Claire will find the high voltage condenser for the spark shot. The next two weapons are usually only available during the last boss fights of the game. Leon will get the ATM-4 rocket launcher and Claire will get the minigun. However, if you complete each character's story with an S plus rank on hardcore, you unlock each weapon with infinite ammo. So completing Leon's will reward the rocket launcher and Claire's the minigun. At the time this was recorded, the exact requirements for S plus rank still aren't known, but they do include the normal S rank time saving three times or fewer for the whole playthrough, not using any previously unlocked infinite ammo weapons apart from the knife, and using only a certain amount of first aid sprays. When I find out a definite information of how to get the S plus rank, I'll leave a comment below. Then we're just left with the final two guns, and they are practically given to you at the start of scenario B. They're in the first safe room you get to outside the police station. Leon gets the M19 handgun and Claire gets the quick draw army, which is really cool when using it, but the reload is so slow. You cannot craft ammo for these two guns, you can only find it. So use sparingly as they are powerful guns that will help out with tougher enemies. And that's it, all the weapons and upgrades in the game. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.